Hello, Georgia551 here, and we're starting at a hotel, of course. And per usual, I like to see how things are coming along at the Oasis, which is being built by Diesel Designs. And from what I see, it's pretty much the same on the inside. The rooms are the rooms are not really done. Although, actually, let me go over here. He added this neat little feature here. Added this little uh, hot tub. Looks pretty good. I think that looks nice. I still like the lobby and the over overall look of the building. Whereas mine is more simply stated. I like the lobby a lot. However, nothing new here. Now, if I remember, I had to rebuild this elevator again because I screwed it up again. All the fun of doing that. And if we get off here, supposedly there's going to be something up here, but... Uh, that hasn't quite happened. But I like the view from up here. Oh, and you can see he's got two little lounge chairs there. He was starting to put those in. Now, there's supposed to be a restaurant and ballroom, I think, underneath the hotel, so... There's still plenty more here, and this is what the rooms look like so far. Nothing. Nothing yet. Bouncy, bouncy, bouncy. Anyway. There we go. Yeah, I do like this. So, I mean, there's not much to report on this. On this property. Not that he hasn't had quite the time to come here and do a lot of work. I like the look and the... And how the uh, quote-unquote uh, greenery overtake the building. Well, anyway, we've seen this place. Let's go back to the underarms because there was a lot that I did during uh, during my allergy attack that I didn't actually show you in the last video. Hello, and we're back, and I opened a door. Not what we want. Hit wrong button. Let's hit the wrong buttons when it matters because it's dark out. Anyway, might have not shown you everything quite yet, but as you can see, we got a finished entry here. This will kind of be a breakfast bar, but yeah, I haven't had time to make things like the cookies and, you know, pastries, desserts, staff only. Little sitting area here, front desk, I still haven't done really anything, but I just added some paintings. Another sitting area here. That's got to go, obviously. Yeah, you've seen this part. However, the Eau de Pew, you haven't. And I decided to go with torch lighting because, well, it kind of has that sconce look to it. Anyway, here's the restaurant tables, chairs. Someone will be lucky enough to have a view out to a gaping hole. Do a lot of mining down there. And over here we have the kitchen. Where I actually have cooked stuff. In fact, there's some stuff there. There, a little work on camera. There we go. And figured out what to do with the ugly parts of the uh, of the hotel made map walls for example the ones that are just all by themselves is a section of the vill of a village that was found and at the point in time it was the edge of the world but the borders have been expanded 256 blocks or so or 250 I think he said actually 
get a better look at these. I was screwing them up on the last video. On the uh, elevator side of things, we got the right hand side, which is a map wall of the Under Arms Hotel. And where I was when I plopped these in. And over on the left is a map of the immediate spawn town. And it doesn't get everything, but it's pretty close and that's pretty much as centralized as it gets. In fact, I think that's almost as good as you can get it. And again, the same village on every oddball section. And the rooms, they're not done yet. You got the beds, the uh, chest, and a TV to, look, to watch. There's going to be some artwork hanging on the walls and a little bit of furniture. When these rooms are done, they will receive their doors and room numbers. So that's what you got there. It's the same throughout. So no need to show you that. Lighting's been improved out here. These trees are temporary. That's how we're going to make the furniture and everything. We got the ballroom, which now has the chandeliers in it. Now you don't have the ugly torches on the floor. At some point, I'm going to put a music box in here and a little uh, quote unquote desk area. For the DJs to do their thing. And we got ladder elevators. We'll take that. And here are the sort of finished ball, not ballrooms, but the meeting rooms that can be rented out. Of course, got to deal with some lighting issues here still. Gonna put lighting on the ceiling, just not sure how I'm gonna go about that quite yet. The other floors are the same. I still need to put some uh, fencing around the uh, stairs. Emergency exit. Here's the bottom level. We got one more meeting room here. And this is how you get to the changing rooms for the boat house. Here's the other exit. Here's the men's room. Here's the ladies one. Of course, when this is all done, there'll be doors there, obviously, and signage. So, you've seen what's here. Now, let's go up and check out a couple other things before we actually make any legitimate headway here. Again, here's the swimming pool, which I still haven't done anything about the lighting issues that are in here, but I think I might have an answer. And of course the pool with the diving board, the deep end that you can to make it safer, although in the land of Minecraft it doesn't really matter. It's more for realism. Oh yeah. And over here at the five decker. My frame rate is stuck at 60 for some reason. Don't know why. Anyway, inside here, five decker economy rooms here in the five decker office. You can get your econo rooms, or if you want to ride the low see, the changing rooms here haven't been done. I blocked them off. That's going to be something we'll do. Another thing punch item list is kind of need to put railings here as well there's nothing you really need to see here yet it's the same issue we got the bed we got the TV we don't have any artwork or furniture yet when that's done the doors since they're already here will be closed and they'll get a room number Yeah, there's a ladder elevator on the other side. I think I might have shown that to you. If not, I'm not going to bother at this point. And here we go. The low-rise, high-speed flume, assuming boat physics actually were any good. And 
go to the office to get yourself a boat. So you go up this little thing, and as you can see, it meets up pretty much with the height of the land. And that's how that works. And apparently, a boat that broke is still there. So I'll go down this one. I'll just give it a light push. And we'll let it go down naturally. Just like it's doing now. There we go. Wasn't that fun? Now maybe this boat will be recoverable. Oh, that one decided to work now. That one was completely dead before. So, this is getting you up to speed because I was uh, kind of rushing things a little bit. I forgot where I left off in the last video. So, I wanted to show you what I've been doing. And because I had, like I said, every semi-annual time of the year, I get an allergy attack going from spring to summer and fall to winter. So I did a lot of work here and I wanted to catch you up on it, but I kind of didn't really do that good of a job. So we're all caught up now. It is time to actually start doing some new stuff and wrap this whole hotel thing up. All right, time for some furniture. And that loud noise you're hearing in the background is my air conditioner. Generally, I would put the fan on low but I was recording another show and it's getting hot so I'm eh, gonna kind of have to put up the much more noise but frame rates really starting to drop with all these extra entities that are here anyway rooms are numbered for most of them and so I'm not gonna put doors on until rooms are totally complete now it's time to put in some furniture I'm still not sure how I'm gonna go up about that with this particular style of room because of the way things have to be kind of put together. I'm thinking is put a little seat there for the TV. Actually, yeah, that'll work. And each room will otherwise will have a simple chair and a table. That every room will have that. The rooms with this configuration will have the extra seats for the TV. This won't be needed in the other rooms because the TV is directly behind the bed. And speaking of the bed, let's put some artwork over that. And maybe... Yeah, that, we already got that one. No. Yeah, that'll work. And we have two pieces of art that just disappeared all of a sudden. Oh yeah, this is Entities Galore your frame rate's gonna drop when you come to the underarms. Alright, so... Over here, we don't have that luxury, so... See, I don't mind if it repeats there. So what I'm gonna do is... Gee, I got an extra space here. Might just... Put a little couch there. And, yeah, see, it's kind of hard to tell how I want to do this. It's a work in progress, of course. And maybe... Yeah. Okay, we got art on that wall. And this wall looks a bit plain, so... Yeah, why not? That works. It's also dark out, which, by the way... I've sort of figured out how to light up the troublesome corners. I've put glowstone and I surrounded the glowstone. I still haven't figured out exactly what to put on top of it, so... What I'm thinking I might do is just to match the uh, brown. I'm not sure yet, but while I'm thinking of it, let's go out there and look. Also, while I'm out here for the, uh, 
I did find a diamond and I forgot to make a, uh, so I made a jukebox. I don't have any CDs, but I want to make a uh, chest so we can store CDs whenever we get them or if anybody wants to bring them over and leave them off. Here's the table where you work and you DJ from here and everybody dances there. That's another thing. What I'm entertaining with right now, boy, my frame rate drops. This hotel makes it plummet. Yeah, that might work. It kind of matches the, uh, and do what I didn't want you to do. Yeah, these corners were trouble, because over here, if we hit F3, in the darkest spots, we got an 8, 9, 8. Nine, eight. eight is plenty good. Yeah, there's so many entities in this hotel that in the local area, your game will lag out. Because there's plenty of entities in the five-decker. F3, second line, very left, 90 frames per second. Once I look at the entity-laden hotel right there, now I'm down to like 46, 45, but that's with fraps running too. However, it goes up to like 55, 60 when I'm not recording. So not much of a difference there. But again, that's only on our end. The only time the server lags out is when loading them in. And I'm growing the spruce trees, which is what I use for all the furniture. You can see I've lit everything up quite well. I'm going to make, you know, pool furniture, you know, the lounge chairs for there, stutter, and on the beach as well, but the thing is, I don't, yeah, good, I made it on top of the fence. I haven't quite figured out how to handle this quite yet. I want to put some, uh, you know, some uh, canopy type areas here on the beach as well. So that's something else. There's the flume ride. That's actually the, f the way that it works is the fastest I can get it to work reliably. Used to be you can make a 45 degree angle and the boat would scream down it, but now the way that physics works, as soon as you hit another piece of water that's slightly different in elevation, you plop and then move. So you actually go fastest this way, unless physics changed yet again. Anyway, that's what we got for an update, is how I'm doing up the rooms, which is going to help drag those frame rates down even further. I'm at 45 right now, and when I look away, back to a, sort of a respectable 90. That's kind of low end in Fraps recording. Anyway, we'll be back when we get some progress. It's raining, what it always does on the Craft Theory server. But that doesn't matter this time. We've got a completed floor here. This is what it sort of looks like. Just got some artwork on only the panels in which the doors are off-centered and where the elevator shaft's going to be, where the plane wall is. There'll be artwork on that. But we haven't gotten to those floors quite yet. Anyway, we're going to show you what some of these rooms look like. Like it your typical suite here. Here we go, we got the bed, we got a place to sit down, and a little desk and a table with a TV. Now the rooms are just slightly bigger, you get two seats with a table, and the bench is more away from the bed. Now, yeah, I know that the furniture tends to match the wainscoting, but you know, in order to make this all match up and look good, this is kind of the give and take you have to deal with. After all, it is Minecraft, and that's this give and take on what you can do. One of the end rooms, which I don't know why I didn't start with because I was practically there, you get a desk that's in the corner. So you're kind of looking out the window, or you can look out that way for sure. And you get little area to sit and watch TV. That's what those rooms look like. And the suites, which are the center rooms with the double doors. 
get a couch there, that, you know, sectional couch there. I could sit back here and watch TV. It's a little further back, but if I had it out here, then kind of looks, that area looks a little silly, so we left it like that. And the master bedroom, simple enough, a couple of chairs and the bed. So that's what the rooms on, with the exception of the rest of the levels, are what they're going to look like. The only exceptions here are these two rooms next to the quote unquote ladder elevators because we have a express or shuttle one that goes to the first level. So these rooms are a bit tiny. We don't have a desk, but we do have a chair couple of beds in the TV and just some artwork to make this little hallway look a little better. Same thing over here except yeah I forgot to put the chair but yeah same thing. It will be slightly different on the upper levels because we don't have that ladder elevator there. We only have this one so the room taken up by that is free for the rooms on the other levels and we'll continue in a moment as we've shown you before we got the main hallway here paintings and stuff in the front desk which i haven't really done much of anything with anyway one of the things people said i needed because this is kind of far away was a portal to the nether hub and with that being said here's the underarms portion of it right here As you can see it's just a just like the exterior of the hotel it's a simply stated structure black clay roof so nothing to really see there and here's what you got here and as you can see just as a placeholder well building I put planks here this of course will be replaced with obsidian so that we can have an actual portal however we kind of need to go to the other side to show you where this portal is going and maybe at that point I'll actually have the obsidian all right we're here in the nether in the red corridor and I there you go. Portal into the other underarms. The other arms. I had a pool of lava that I poured water into a while ago. So I happen to have the 30 pieces of obsidian I needed to make this all work. Alright, what I'm going to do now is, just so nothing interferes with how this works, is I'm blocking it off so no monsters can get in and I can light up the other one. We need to sync this up. So we got to go to the hotel the hard way. Oh yeah, you might be hearing my air conditioner in the background. I haven't been mentioning that. Anyway, there's the Under Arms Hotel, and again, here's the building. It's time to sync these things up. Once I get rid of this placeholder, I'm going to put the obsidian in, like so. And if all goes well, we should be in the nether right behind a little barricade that we put up. Underarms portal. So now, what I am going to do off camera, because this is not fun nor entertaining, and for some reason I'm stuck at 30 frames per second while recording, I am going to put a sign up 
for the Under Arms Hotel because almost everything has a sign for it already. In fact, probably put it right there. And I'm not going to bore you with that because it takes a while to get it as close as I can get it. We're back on the beach. And one of the things I want to do besides build a low profile, somewhat high speed flume ride, which is done, and make a. Uh, changing rooms on the bottom floor there is I wanted to put some uh, some bits of luxury in here so like you're sitting over here and let's just say um, maybe right here and right here we got a couple of seats looks pretty good right What if we have a covering going over them? Kind of like this. And that's not supposed to be there. And I'm not wasting my axe for over that. So, whatever. Maybe there'll be a table in between with a tiki torch, why not? And while I am at it, I'll just use this. That'll work. We're gonna cover this thing in leaves. So it's kind of like a little hut. And no, that one shouldn't have been put there, but we're going to lose that set for sure. thing I didn't quite think through here is how I'm going to get over there. Uh, answer. Just do what I just did there. We're going to see how this looks when we get done with it. I want it to be simply stated. We don't want it to be too complicated. And loss of control there. We'll axe this. There we go. Eh, not too bad. It's a little, uh... Perhaps it can go one higher than that, which means unless I do this, I'm going to lose everything. Yeah, we'll come back when I, uh... Come back when I get this fixed and see what she looks like. Okay, so I built three of those little huts and here they are. Honestly, I don't think they look all that bad. And I think what I'm going to do is replace the torches with uh, a sea lantern underneath and a bush under. I mean, on top of it, kind of make it look like it's, yeah, you know, like it's something that belongs. You gotta see how that goes. Not 100% sure of the lighting. I don't even have them on me anymore, so I would have to get them back. All right, so we got those, and we got the lighting in the uh, in the conference rooms all set. Of course, when we do the final walkthrough, you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. So we got that, we got that. What we need to do is get more of this jungle wood and go in and 
do the changing rooms over there. And that's what we'll do next. So of course I wanted to show you this. I replaced the torches with this light. I ran out of the uh, stone. I can always get it. Hey, I was telling this person I was recording and she keeps going. I don't care. It's not really bothering me. Anyway, I went with this approach, you know, a uh, bush above ground because if I put the light source flush to the ground, I don't have to put as many as close together. And there are some, there are a couple of eights in here, which is okay. Because one diesel design keeps thinking that eight is a bad number. It's seven that's the bad number. And I think there's an eight right in there. No, there, there, there's definitely eights. Yeah, like right here up against the hotel. That's perfectly fine. That's enough. And as you can see, got these, yeah, I got these quote unquote plants just randomly scattered about, which also helps keep this beach fairly safe. I know it's not the best looking thing, but as I said, if the plants were flush to the ground, then we'd have to put many more of these together to get the same effect. And I ran out of, uh, ran out of the coverings over here. And as you can see by the torch over there and some up here, not those that are on the building, but those on the beach part itself, ran out of these blocks. But there's a farm in which I can get more of those, so that's not a pish that's not a problem or an issue. It's not a pissue. There you go. I made a word. I feel smart. Anyway, that's what we got here and as I was saying, we're now gonna work on the changing rooms, which has been left completely empty on purpose. That's because, okay, we don't want that really. This is the floor level, so I don't care what this is. Okay, this is going to be the area in which you uh, clean off your feet. I'm gonna fill this with water eventually. And this is just gonna be all stone floor anyway. Because we're not looking at anything. Actually, this is not a good idea. In fact, you know what? I made a crafting table while I was out doing another project. Let's actually use the thing. I don't want to use up my good stuff. Here we go. I'm not going to have it like this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to... Okay, yeah, we're going to leave the edge there. We're going to do that. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this, smelt it down to regular stone, and then make slabs. I mean, that'll be more comfortable on, on feet anyway. See, so yeah, I'm going to run that over. When we come back, we'll continue with this little project here. All right, we're back. Yeah, this looks better. Now, some might be wondering, okay, why don't I just put a layer on top and just leave a gap? I mean, that's what a lot of people do. I don't, because a lot of people do have computers on this server that are not the greatest on the planet and don't get very high frame rate. So if you do the bottom and the top to make a full block, it leaves a section in which their computer does not have to render and therefore will help maintain a higher frame rate. So I'm willing to balk a little bit at efficiency so that it'll work better for those that have a slower machine. And this, these are going to be there both in the men's and women's room because that's a kind of acting as a support. So what we're going to do now is similar to the uh, the boathouse that's in uh, the hotel is, of course, quote unquote, tiki torches there. And 
door, door, door there. Yeah, no matter what, it isn't going to totally work perfectly because you got these windows here. Perfect row, should we say? It's alright because we can just throw a couple over here, like so. Yeah, that, let's keep things somewhat consistent here. Four, five. There we go. And fill this with water. This is kind of like the. Uh, Just for consistency's sake here, let's just get rid of that and there now it looks like a solid object. That'll be filled with water. There you go, you got some changing rooms for the for the gentlemen so far. I'm gonna get rid of that. Just gonna do the random tiki torch here. Like here and there. And eat some food. Now the thing is to F3 and look at the light levels. Make sure it does not go below 8. In fact, it's pretty high through the whole thing, which is pretty good. And I am going to leave the door off here because there's really no true need for it. Same thing with the ladies one over there. Yeah, you can can see in but the thing is you'll be changing up behind closed doors preventing the pervert row thing that I mentioned so you got an idea what this is going to all look like so I'm not gonna bore you with that anymore and I'm gonna do the same thing here oh I chopped that out yeah, that was kind of a, well, it's not really needed a support system there anyway, so we can get rid of that all we want. You know the drill. We did it before. Just going to repeat it over here, and we'll be back a little bit later. All right, I'm actually processing a video while I am recording this, and the loud noise you hear again is the air conditioner. This time I actually got it conditioning at lowest speed. So that's the loud noise you might be hearing in the background. Anyway, while this building is still used for staging, this hotel is done, at least the main building. And I know there's people that like to prank, so when they get to room 404, I beat them to it. Room not found. Anyway, here we are, very top level. Kind of show you what each room sort of looks like. We've done this before already. 502 couch there, tables, chairs, bed, TV. That's pretty much what the end rooms look like. Same over there. The regular size rooms, 504, couch, bed, TV, little thingy there. That's what each one looks like. The only difference are these, the smaller rooms. It's kind of like a mud room type dealy. Still got a chair there, bed thingy there, TV right there. No room for furniture right there anyway. And finally, the suites. They all pretty much look like this. Your TV, couch, sectional, and bedroom with two chairs. Nothing really on this wall. So now you know what this looks like. So let's go down the ladder elevator to the second, to the first floor, should we say. And head out this door. And as you know, because I kind of made reference to it. Uh, you know what, that ain't working. I'll show you something down there anyway, but right now, just a little something here. Ballroom looks the same, but this time I have a chest to store those CDs if we ever get any, because I really, 
really suck at getting those. Back room, I'm still not sure what to do with. And there is attic access, which I haven't found out what to do with quite yet. Okay, I'm bouncing around. I don't care too much. There's supposed to be a trap door there, but I didn't put one in yet. There's still some punch list items that have to be done, like here in the stairwells. There are no railings. That's got to get fixed. Anyway, here's the uh, finished rooms. As you can see, I took care of the whole lighting problem that it had. And I know the exposed lighting kind of looks a little funky but that's kind of the way it is and the uh, sconce lighting as I like to call it that is intentional that will stay so the idea now is uh, what to do about these conference rooms well we're gonna populate them thing is I haven't quite figured out how to go about that quite yet thinking we'll have a podium over here I'll just Put one a little off to the side, just like that. Now the question is, how do I go about putting the seating and stuff together? And you know what? Yeah, it sort of works. Actually, I might just... Okay, good. Cooperation time. Uh, let's fix this exciting stuff, isn't it? I want to get give you an idea of what some of this might look like. Because you do need room between the chairs to get through, you know. We definitely need that. They're not all going to be set up the same way. This is just a just a general idea of how some of these may appear when it's all done. And hit. set up pretty much right but like I said they're not all gonna look like this there'll be some variance in how it's done and of course here's the podium and then you make your silly little speech like like hey people today I'm gonna show you how to make tons of money in real estate by swindling elderly yeah then you can own a hotel just like me. Alrighty. So that's kind of what one looks like. And yeah, I haven't put paintings or anything like that in here because that's something that could distract people. And yes, the torches slash sconce lighting looks a little lopsided because it kind of is. That's by design, believe it or not. So that's what we got here. And one thing I haven't done yet, and I put the doors away, stupid me, is I haven't put the doors in the uh, so-called men's and ladies' uh, changing room slash boathouse down there. So now you get an idea of what these will look like. We'll come back when we get them all done. Howdy. We'll show you in a moment, but... All the rooms in there are done as well. Pretty much the whole thing is now finished. However, I want to add one more little touch as we hit the wrong button to show that my frame rate is kind of crap. Anyway, F5. 
There we go. We're going to add one more thing, and right now I'm just using this as a guide. I'm not 100% sure how this will go, but we're going to add a diving platform here, an Olympic style one, where we have the inability to reach. Okay. We're going to have a traditional one, five, and ten meter high dive. And I'm going to put it here because it's technically deep enough to be realistic in terms of a potential thing that is quite possible. In fact, this is wide enough. You're going to have four primarily four large quote-unquote tree trunks that act as the structure on uh, yeah moving around like a little kid here on one side there'll be the traditional one meter platform in fact maybe on both sides and on both sides as well we might have a five meter platform and maybe one in the middle as well and then at the very top your traditional 10 meter platform won't that sound exciting huh And somehow I'm actually digging as fast as I can without having any special tools here. I recently enchanted my stuff here, so let's just take a look. Protection on breaking thorns and respectivity. Hmm. Oh well. Pretty interesting how that worked. So let's see here. I'm not going to bore you with the whole thing. We're just going to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And that's where the 10 meter platform will actually be. As you can see, yeah, we kind of go 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Keep in mind the platform's actually going to stick out a little more than this, so. Realism's there. Ooh, I don't like how that looks. Yeah, that didn't look very realistic looking. That kind of looked like it was just sitting on sand, which is not very realistic. Well, we'll come back a little later when we get the frame pretty much done and some of the boards. Because I don't want to bore you with everything. Okay, we got our 10 meter high pull there. It's going to continue up, but we'll do that when we put the 10 meter platform on because it's going to be a little bit of detail to go along with it. Anyway, it looks short, but that's because that's the world of Minecraft is to make a unbelievably realistic, or should I say just simply realistic and not make it unbelievable. You get to have three blocks high, which is almost 10 feet, and then another three, so you got almost 13 feet there between each floor of a quote-unquote residential area. So what we're gonna do here is for our 10 meter platforms, throw away things we don't really want to right now, and we can put that away. We don't need those for the time being. And I don't know why we got a bit there. We don't need that either is okay this will be our one meter platform pretty much i think we can go just one more like that one more like that then diving board can we put it on from here yes we can diving board there, we got our one meter platforms. Pretty simple, huh? And of course, Tiki Torch. However, lighting up in here is going to be challenging. In fact, I might just go with the you know, put these at the foot like so. So we got enough light down there to worry about over there 
Now the thing is, we need the five meter platform. We're at one, two, three, four. Okay, this is one, two, three, four. I have a feeling that's still not right. One, two, three, four. I think it's up there. One meter high, two meters. It's really hard to see it. That line just blends right in. One, two. Yeah, it's real hard to see the lines here. Yes, that's where it belongs. Okay. Come on down. And these will stick out a little more than the other guys do. Just a little bit. So that's how it that's how it works. It's just two, three. Four, five. Very hard to do this, you know. Now, how do we get there? With ladders, of course. And just so we don't have issues, we'll just do that so you don't have to worry about falling backwards. You got a little landing room right here. There, that lights up a little bit. And we're going to light this up the same way as we did down there. And of course, they get a springy board as well. Board. Although I think some platforms don't. They, it's just a slab. I've seen some that, I think I've seen some that do. Well, this one does, that's all that matters. And here, six, seven, eight, nine, this one sticks out the most. But only by one. And we're going to temporarily throw a torch right there just to keep that lit fairly well. Because we need a way to get up Splat. Dave Grold. I need to get up from there. We're going to do that through the inside. And ladder. Yep. And we got to be careful up here. We don't have the luxury yet of any protection. We got our little tower. And what I think I will do here, I'm just going to temporarily place that, of course, is this will be our structure. It'll be a light here in the middle to light up the. Okay, we can axe this part. There we go. Actually, that's going to be relatively pointless. So what we're going to do is F3 here, just check our lighting. I hit 3 as well. All right, somehow we are actually getting more light out this way. Oh yeah, because of that torch there. Now we get to see. Oh, we're at a 7. That's not any good. So let's there now we're at a nine 
and an eight, which is minimal acceptance. Wow, my frame rate's tanking. Anyway, might have to do at the hotel with that over 700 entities in there. And where you can kind of see the mini cabanas with a couple of beach chairs in each. Fairly empty beach here. Anything that's a little off property is just torch lit. Otherwise, everything is pretty much lit with these blocks. And as you can see, this 10 meter platform is quite a ways out. What we need to do is just add a little safety way up here. Then you can Here we go, we got our 10 meter high dive style platform. But you know, I don't think that really looks all that great. So what we're gonna do now is, just because we can, I'm gonna add a couple of blocks here just to make it look a little more rigid. And Oh yeah, we can't put one there because there's a ladder. But we can put one over here. And just add a light, why not? There we go. Now let's take a dive off the fiver. There, that looks like it's fairly believable. Alright, we got that done. But like I said, I don't I kind of don't like how that looks at the moment. It needs one more final touch, and I think we can then officially say, unless there's a punch list item that I've missed, that the Underarms Hotel is now done. Alright, I think I can now safely say, after several hours and a little bit more time than I expected later, the Underarms, as it is, is now done done and let's just go we've already seen everything in here so we know what that looks like here we go we've got the grand ballroom the only difference here is we now have a place to store cds if i ever successfully acquire any and we got a large coat room of course i could utilize the space a little bit better but then you'd have these unsightly things next to the windows and you don't want that even though these are close, it's, well, you know, it is what it is. And we'll take the, uh, before we take the ladder elevator down, all the stairs have railings now. We've fixed that issue. And here we go. Meeting rooms next to levels, boating and fishing in the basement, as well as the entertaining hall. Let's just go one by one. Conference rooms, halls one and two. I just set these up differently. And as you notice, there are no paintings on the walls. That is done on purpose because many of the places I've, many of the hotels I've been to that have uh, boardrooms and such, they don't have paintings on the walls because it's considered a distraction. And if you're trying to hold a meeting, you want people to pay attention. Oh, and yeah. So you got a stick, regular railing here. I mean, right around here, it doesn't matter. You're not going to get hurt. Reason I came back up this way is to shut the door. As you can see, I've also put seating in here. No fancy armrests, because then you have these unsightly holes in the carpet. All three is configured more like that. I mean, this is just free will here. I did whatever I felt like. And different configuration for number four. As you can see, not necessarily everything to do with meetings. And finally, down here. Oh, yes, and on the side of the elevators, there's a coat room. In this case, it's just simply a chest. Don't have room for the 
coat closet like in the ballroom. Recreational hall, you know, this kind of set up like a bingo parlor, sort of. And over here, well, the back part of the uh, room there, we got the boathouse and changing rooms. Changing rooms, men. This is the, the women. They just have one room less than the men do. And yes, these are big enough for someone to fit in, as you can see. They are just going around just to prove the point there. While the door takes the space, it doesn't really count against you being in there. And of course, the men's room. It looks bigger, but it's only one extra changing room, and I made sure that the exit part actually came into the men's space to even it out a little bit better. And come out here to the deck, as you can see. I know this isn't the best way to do the hidden lighting routine, but if we bury it in a block, then I'd have to put more of these in, and of course, it's, everything's a little dimmer. We got boats, if you want a boat. Wanna go fishing? We got fishing rods for you. There you go. Come out to the beach and enjoy yourself, or stand out on the dock. Or you can take your boat and do an have not, or go out to the quote unquote pontoon, which is really a deck that's on an island. There you go. We will get to that in a moment. So we got that all done for you. And fall. Want to run along the edge so we can just get there a little faster. There we go. We're on the beach. You got mini miniature cabanas here with the tiki torch style lighting. And you might notice. Well, I'll show you later, but actually, if you're one who plays on the server, the areas that are quote unquote off property are just lit with torches. Those on property are done this way. Of course, we got the office, a little more clarity in how things work. And miss the button, miss the button, miss the button. Made a little seating area here, kind of a dead space. And we got the quote unquote elevator marked off. And again, just like the other place, we got railings for the stairs. We'll get to that in a minute. And here are the changing rooms. Men's and women's are exactly the same. You got a couple changing rooms here. This one I made, I made them a little deeper. This is the same one by one. Again, just walking around to prove my point that it works. And of course, after being on the beach and having sand collect on your feet, you come in here and you wash off your feet before you put on your shoes. Same thing with the women. I've already shown you the flume ride in a previous video. We'll get to that in a moment. And the rooms. Now, this is the security feature is that the button to get in and there you go now rooms that end in 01 to 05 are out here in the front and these are very basic rooms because it's economy you got your bed there painting there painting there tv and a basic desk and chair now these don't typically follow the the way most hotels do things. I mean, right now we stepped into the next room and it's a mirror image. Mirror image thing doesn't always happen in this building as I've laid it out. Because these are actually symmetrical. And anything above the ground floor does not have a door to the access point. See, this is ground level on this side, which is why there's a door there, and I failed to make it. Here we go. This is, if somehow a monster were to get in, they won't be able to come and get you. 
Creepers are just another bad thing. Anyway. Same old spiel. Same thing. Just on the opposite side. And we have little fences uh, that you can walk out on. And can't get to the underside of the flume ride. Although we do have the exit over here. I have put that in. Now you've seen this big thing. And I figured before I officially call this done and open, I figure we got fairly deep, very deep water and it gets deep very quickly. Why not put diving boards in? Pardon me while I have some chicken here. These are to, uh, these are to scale, so to speak, is we have the one meter diving boards. We have the five meter diving board and the 10 meter diving board. And of course, made of jungle, we may look like a tree. It looks a little out of scale, but that's because everything else is and not anything else. So, uh, die. Here's a one meter dive. You can see we made the pillar go into the dirt there. It's gonna turn night, I don't care. We have two ladders to the five meter platforms. Now some some of them actually have diving boards, others don't. I decide to put diving boards in. Nice and deep. You can see the pillar system there for the uh, docks. Because it, it, somebody has said that you didn't really need to put a support system on that because your boat docks tend to just float on water. That's kind of a double there, uh, double duty, should I say? I need to F3 for a moment. Wow, this just looks a lot darker than what it is. Looks really dark, but that's safe. And finally, this inner ladder that goes all the way to the 10 meter platform. And because Minecraft's scale ab scaling ability, it doesn't really look like much. But we are exactly 10 meters above the ocean floor. And dive. Here we go. In fact, I bet that makes a nice little screenshot. So what I'm going to do is just for a moment, I'm going to F1, then F2, little pause there. And there, I got my screenshot, which you will see in the thumbnail. So that is it. The underarms is officially done. And I will be spending time making banners and doing stuff like that. Yeah, this will be a nice little closing spot right here. F5, F1. There's the back building. And I really cannot do it this way. We'll go with this because I think that looks a little better. Yeah, the tree's a little cone shape, but hey, it's supposed to look like a tree from any angle pretty much that's the underarms hotel i hope you enjoyed this series there's more craft theory server stuff coming in the future and that's the end of the underarms hotel project of course i do have ideas on expanding it like putting in a bar and nightclub and we do have the ability to sleep off the night if more than one people are on the server hence the what I call the magic sun incident that occurred. So that is it. It is time to open up the underarms to the general public. And this is Georgia551 saying, hope you enjoyed. Have a good one. And we'll see you again on the Craft Theory server on another project.